actually a DIY of the coffee plus olive oil mask. So this is a coffee grounds and olive oil mask that I found on Pinterest that I wanted to try out. So this is good for somebody that has really dry skin. It's supposed to be. I do have dry skin in the winter time. So I thought I would give this a go. So we're going to do this together on camera. So you need one tablespoon of coffee grounds. I already have it in here. That's one tablespoon of already used coffee grounds. You need one tablespoon of olive oil. There's one tablespoon of olive oil in here. And then one, you're going to mix the ingredients until blended. So I'm going to, hold on, let's see. I'm going to just see if I can get this to work right. I'm going to angle you guys down over here. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm just going to add the olive oil to my mixture here. And then we're going to apply it to our face after I stir it, obviously. I'm so nervous to do this on my own skin. Don't know why, but I am. And just mixing it all together. Okay, so now that it's all mixed, I'm going to take you guys back up and I'm going to finish reading my directions and then, okay, so it says, after cleansing, apply mask to face. I've already done that. Um, let's see. Let it sit for two to three minutes, then rinse. Um, okay, so before I apply this, I want to like read more about this because I'm curious. I'm just going to do I'm going to do benefits. Let's see what it says. It says the ingredient works as a scrub as it is not harsh on the skin. Try a natural scrub by mixing coffee ground and brown sugar and olive oil. That's not what I'm doing here. Okay, we're not, I'm not even going to bother with that. But what I wrote down from Pinterest is it says that you can do this up to three times per week. What are the benefits? If you do have dry skin, this mask will give you almost instant hydration. So we're going to try this on my face. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you how it worked. So I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Because it's super, I guess I'm just going to put it in my hands. Oh, this feels weird. Okay. We're just going to apply this. <laughs> I'm so scared. I guess I'm gonna do this. Okay, dropping on my floor. It feels more like a scrub than a mask. Yes, this feels way more like a scrub than a mask. Hmm. I'm just gonna see. I'm just gonna only put it right here. And then I'm gonna come back and let you know. Oh my god, my skin is so irritated right now. I'm honestly kind of scared. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to let this sit, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back, and I washed it off, and I can tell you right now, my skin is so smooth, and my pores and my nose are gone. 
So it was like an exfoliator and a moisturizer in one. And my skin and my nose pores look insanely good. Like that was awesome. I definitely will be doing that again in the future. But I highly recommend you guys go and get these. I will write down everything you need in the description box below. Please go try this. It literally just changed my life. My skin it feels like so soft right now. I know it's a little red because I kind of like scrubbed a little bit with the coffee grounds because I wanted to see if that would do anything and it definitely did because I had blackheads all over my face. So I was like, hmm, let me just see. And then it worked really well for that. So I highly, highly recommend this. Highly recommend this DIY mask. It really did, did I just can't talk today. It really did something for me, and I'm assuming if you have the same problems, it'll probably do something for you too, and it's cheap, so yeah. That is it for this video. If you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.